Right, hello everybody, welcome to Artemis Black versus Bright, week four of Super League. Here's the table before it as it stands, Bright is on 1-1-1, Artemis is on 0-0-2. He and Kefo will be playing their game in hand later, so it's not actually desperate for Artemis yet. I mean like he doesn't know like he could be he could be like one zero ah, it's still desperate if he's it's still desperate if he's one zero two, isn't it, to be fair. So yeah, it's desperate for both of them. They both absolutely have to win this. Um, game. So, so the point is, it could be desperate, right? Artemis or Kefor could lose, and then it could be over for them. But it, but it could be desperate for them. So they've both got to win this game. Um, very much, both have to win this game. And uh, yeah, Bright has got the absolute standard necromantic team: uh, three block, four guard, rookie ghoul, given up a skill, and uh, Art has the standard. Undead team, which is extra skill package, three guards, a tackle, a couple of wrestlers, and a block. So, super interesting um, builds, like op a kind of optimal builds, if you like. Um, not. I'm going to leave the default colours on here. Nothing. Um, Nothing crazy with the subs, but um, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the fact that Art has to win, I guess you want to receive, score on turn 8, and then Art will have to go for the win, thus giving you the win. So, yeah, uh, Bright did you choose to receive. He keeps tricking me with the team, poor men birds, because I think they're knobs, but they're not. They're, they're not in field ability. They are just standard necro. Could go with a wrestle wolf, that. I'm still on the fence about the Wrestle Wolf. Whether it's better or not. I don't think it's really clear which is better because, you know, like having um, redundancy is good, isn't it? Having like just two blocks means you can always attrition blitz. For them and mostly it's going to be better having block right like nine times out of ten blocks better probably but if you can use the block one nine times out of ten and then have you wrestle for the one in ten times it's better then it's a little bit better isn't it so i don't hate one block one wrestle But I think it's probably best to go to block overall. Interestingly, he's carrying it on the rookie, I guess because Art has a couple of wrestle ghouls, but I mean, he's also got a tackle, block tackle, so. a touchback gives it to the rookie it seems a good way to protect your mummies doesn't it there doesn't seem to be any way of getting them there rookie ghoul on the bench the 13th player Undead are a pretty monster team, I think, with the uh, extra pack. The extra skill from the pack in the Euro Bowl rules. Not easy to get a wolf blitz here, though, is it? Maybe he'll just zombie blitz. Protect his neck. You could zombie blitz into a fleshy blitz, right? That's not bad, is it? Z zombie up here, one, two, three, bosh, and then that gives him that hit into that hit. So that gives him lots of hits. Um, that blitz, but the wolf blitz means he's going to get hit by a mummy or have to dodge, which isn't great. You could double GFI to blitz this one, which seems crazy. Yeah, it looks like he's not doing. Not what I would have done. He's going to hope to get a push 
into a pal. I guess. I'm going to go in with a fleshy as well. I didn't really need to go in the fleshy as well at all. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so he gets the pow. And is he going to dodge away or is he going to get smashed on three dice? And he's going to dodge away. And fails. Um, hello, chicken. No problem, no problem at all. I mean, if if you'd uh, if you'd message me, I would have uh, I would have streamed it, but uh, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> I mean, it's no problem, no problem not streaming it. But uh, yeah, congratulations, incredible, incredible performance, twenty and all. If you don't know, Chigan went fifteen and all, the first ever team to go fifteen and all in the Black Box Trophy, um, which is impressive alone, and then. Uh, and then won the steel gauntlet as well, won five and one steel gauntlet, so won twenty and all with that team. So that is a good little uh, beginner's guide to Norse there, isn't it? For sure. Uh, well, hope everything's all right for you. Chicken. I'm gonna blitz around the side here. To get the follow up this because of course I don't roll a pow. <laughs> I was probably wasn't going to stream this deal going to the final. I was probably going to steal this one. Right? It, was, it was originally scheduled to clash with this, so I thought, to be honest, you know, this is my league. <laughs> and even though it's a major final, fumble is not not the best thing to look at, is it? So I probably was just not going to do it live anyway. But, um, Alright, well, hope Martin Septum's alright then. Whatever it all was. Hope everything's alright. And it was versus Martin Septum as well, wasn't it? Who we all know from Blood Bowl 5. Who is Sambo Simon? <laughs> Not to be confusing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Are we going for another wolf blitz? And then this pushes out the uh, mummy. Oh, into a fleshy hit. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Andy gets the both down to save himself. Outrageous. You can almost hear an angry Welshman screaming. <laughs> if they ever make a if they ever do a remake of Alien, uh, they could, you know, base it in the Blood Bowl world and say in oh, this is I'm losing this. Um, in Blood Bowl, no one can hear you scream <laughs> unless you're Welsh, <laughs> and you just need normal dice. <laughs> oh, snap when you suck the ball. I need to watch these replays, learn how to play a Norse. Super interesting. I like this, the like double layered thing, right? You don't need a stupid X gauge or anything, do you? Right? It's got this, it's got layers, not easy to pressure the ball at all. Oh, I don't like this. What did he find? What's bro? I guess it protects the. Uh, it was to protect the wolf, right? But mm. and it does protect the wolf. Actually, he could have chained the wolf forward, but I mean, he can still just get hit on. Um, two dice by the wolf. Like, the wolf can still get two deed. By a mummy. 
But yeah, I guess it stops the wolf getting like chained or just too deep with tackle or something. Well, there you go, he gets the power with mighty blow. You do nothing. Surely he's going to try to go for this ghoul if he can, right? Put him put him on the sideline. Surely. Could probably run all the way around, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What he could do is go 4... Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, GFI, block, surf. <laughs> but I don't mind uh, trying to stick him on the sideline. He's not doing it though. He's, uh, Blitzing the mummy away. Warming off that girl. Danger here is that Art could like tag off the fleshy with a zombie at some point, couldn't he? Like it's only turn three. Or he could stick a mummy on it. We'll see. Very cagey start, isn't it? Nobody really wants to commit because both sides have got like good positionals, but they're all somewhat frail. And they're all pretty key as well. It's interesting, interesting game. Super interesting. Dimmy will be here at some point, by the way. After he's finishing League of Legends. Ah, oh, did start his turn with a block as block, yeah, what an absolute shitter. <laughs> Unbelievable, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> a blockless block! <laughs> Okay, the mummy is committed on two zombies. And yeah, he has tucked off the fleshy with a zombie. I thought the longer that Bright left that guy out there, the more likely that that tagging was going to happen. Obviously, the Wraith is also tagged off. Hello. 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 <laughs> yeah, wait a second, I can't hear you, Dimmy. Hello. Hello. Oh, there we go. I thought I might have had the settings wrong on Discord, but I don't. Hello, Dimmy, how are you? 
Happy birthday, Jimbo. Oh, happy birthday, Dimbo. <laughs> How's it going, man? Not bad, thanks. How good is it that it's both of our birthdays today? Pretty good. It's the best day of the year. Yeah. 29th birthday again? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Absolute fantastic. Who won the toss? Um, it was Bright, and he chose to receive. Ooh. Not mm. surprised. Yeah. Champ, oh. champ, champ. You got a birthday present as well, didn't you, Timmy? I did. Glorious uh, display cabinet. Yeah, that was the one. I got a display cabinet, I got a jumper, and Ooh. a headset. Ooh. And my brother got me like a really big uh, Games Workshop pack. Nice. So I bought <laughs> the chalk <chore> theme. <laughs> <laughs> Despite them being garbage. Wow. It is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, like, I'll probably enjoy them more now they're crap than if they were good. And they might have, you know, they might get better packs, right? They might get better tiering, which means, and then use, like, mm, a I don't know. On. I feel like they're reluctant to, uh, like, because dwarves have been in tier one forever, and I, like, I think the only reason they're in tier one is because... They don't want to give them a double, so they can take a sneaky get death roller, right? I think but also they've just always historically been. I just think people are yeah, averse to change, and especially I people don't, don't like fucking up there. People just don't like dwarves, right? If anybody makes a rule set, they're all quite happy for dwarves to be shit. This is spicy. A little bit, yeah. One in nine. It's going to be a power into a removal just to eat away at Artemis' soul. Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've been on close block. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, is he's going to leave his ghoul exposed to the tackle here. I can't imagine he's leaving that werewolf there. No. Yeah, uh, he's just going to get his ghoul tackle smashed. Oh, he's blitzing all around. This is a long way. This is a GFI blitz. Like it's his fleshy in here. Oh, uh, so we can 2D. Oh, uh -oh. has to reroll that, surely. Ugh. Do you take the both down? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't have hated it. Is this a one D in it? Oh, he's got, no, no, he gets another two. Yeah, okay. With him, with him getting another two, then. Uh, yeah. I would have just powered him, Jim. I would have just powered him as well. I think he'll try that zombie, the fleshy dodge off, right? There we go. Oh, I was having this conversation with someone yesterday. How, like, when I play Skaven, I'm more than happy to do, like, a four-plus pickup. And <laughs> then, like, you know what I mean? Like, in multiple tackle zones. But I'm never happy to do, a, like, a flesh golem dodge. <laughs> and it's exactly the same, like... Like, I don't know, there's certain... There's a thing about like teams that are more agile. Like in my head, I make the rolls a lot more often than <laughs> like teams that are not agile. You know? It's like dodging biggins and stuff like that. Like you, I really avoid it, but it's, it's not actually that bad. No, no. Well, no it's half the time. Yeah, exactly. And seventy-five percent if you put in a reroll. Seventy-five percent. I uphealed with block against no block yesterday, and I rolled a skull and bow. Absolutely no. diced. I, I don't mind that so much because I think, oh, well, it would have failed if it was a 2D, you know? Yeah. But I mean, I still hate it, obviously. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's yeah. coming around the back. I thought he was going to smash that gal. Yeah. Is there any way for him to hit something? Where's the ghoul there? I don't know why the ghoul's here. What's he planning? I'd What's have the same. <laughs> I'd have thought the same what? as well. Put the ghoul in there and then tackle and hit Flash. this guy. Or that that leaves you really open down here, though, right? With all these fast things. So, you know, bring someone in and block that and see what happens. It's not going to rely on a ghoul dodge, is it? Just attack it. Okay, well, now I'm bamboozled. Now I really don't know where the 
No, he's going to blitz with a ghoul behind the mummy onto the werewolf, I think, and then try and base the ball if he powers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. G if I blitz onto the werewolf. Mm. Yeah, I think that's. I think it's right to like equalize the side a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure I like putting a. Uh, oh, huge. Oh, and a removal. Yeah. I'm not sure I like this guy behind enemy lines. Uh. Well, he's really forcing the issue now. I mean, Bright can only really go towards the right here. He can't go left. So you bring the the wolf back, punch the tackle with the tack uh, with the goal. And then you blitz the wrestle and you try and cage there, I guess. Well, you can surf the tackler, can't you? Oh, uh, yeah, I always forget. Yeah. I don't have teams with friends there. I yeah, mean, is it worth so, it, though? Like, the yeah. problem is you've got, you've got to deal with this wrestle goal, though. Nah, because you, you can just screen him, right? Just move the ball here. Block him. Oh, okay, yeah, use the ball as the assist. I mean, that's yeah. rowdy AF, but yeah. yeah I Because the problem is, is the mummy on yeah. the golem yeah. like powering him because then you got the wrestler around there as well yeah but the thing is you have extra equity uh, by surfing him because how much would it tilt Artemis using him as the assist <laughs> it would be uh, <laughs> I would have got the push as well just quietly he's not going for the surf no and he's not just blocking blocking with uh, the goal I don't know where this ball's going Jim no, it's uh, it's interesting, Dim. I guess he can make a cage in the middle. He just blocks with the wraith, and then brings the other wraith back. <laughs> oh my God! Huge cards. Got the surf anyway. No regen. Regen fails. Flip me. And that is his blodge goal. Pretty much safe apart from the wrestler. Yep. Why isn't he carrying it on the blood school, by the way, Jimbo? Um, it's a good question. Um, yeah, I I or, disagree or with zombie. it. At first, I thought it's okay because like he's got two wrestles on, you know, two wrestle girls. So I thought I didn't I didn't hate that, but then he's still got a block tackler. So against the block tackler, having the defenseless one is definitely worse than the block. But uh, he got a touch back and he didn't give it to the zombie. Can you believe that? I can't, Jim. Like, honestly, I just like I play too fast because I'm always trying to move them. I'm, it's because I'm so programmed into safe moves first. I'm just constantly clicking the zombie as the kickoff's happening. <laughs> I'm like, right, I'm gonna need to click this 700 times. But... Mm. You're diddling it with the uh, the million the million clicks. What the hell? It's okay, isn't it? If he get, if he if he doesn't get a power, this is a little bit of an issue uh, from the. Uh, I mean, where's the, the wraith. ball going? In in the middle, just have an X cage in the middle. Uh, uh, yes, Invictus. There are people who act like you can just simply not get your ball carrier hit, but that is not the case. Sometimes you will get him hit. Gets the pow. Would have been a little bit tricky if it hadn't been a pow, honestly. Actually, I guess we can do the guard either corner as well. Oh my god, he does a wandy? Unbelievable, Jeff. The ball there. Oh, I, I mean, this is again. This is worth it for like the absolute scenes in Artemis's head. <laughs> it's because he wants to make the cage. Yeah, yeah. Up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that was greedy AF. I guess he only needed the the. It was a three plus, right? So he yeah. just needs the book. But still. Yeah, it was still rowdy. Yeah. Just and greed it's only one. Five. Yeah, it's pretty late. Is it? Is it that late? Yeah, it's pretty late. Mate, he's leaving this open around the front. Unless he's it doing zombie deer yeah, Oh, he's just, he's just leaving it open on all sides. Okay. Yeah. This is just an instant one, D. Yeah, that is just an instant one. No, no, no. He'll move that guy around the back, I guess. Okay. That's not an instant one, D, but... 
I mean, he could have just caged it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't just cage it. <laughs> or maybe this is like a trap sack. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think Artemis will go for it. No, I don't think he will either. He'll just bang, ba bang, bang, bang. <laughs> he might GFI Mummy Blitz the werewolf. Right, no GFI. <laughs> well, there's a GFI just to get there. He could have GFI'd again to punch. Well, he didn't even. Well, if he's punching, he could have just. Oh, yeah, yeah, come in there, yeah. I don't know why he didn't. I guess he's gonna blitz that zombie. Yeah. Well. No, he can't be blitzing the blood just really. No, bl bl blitz the zombie, blitz the zombie, because that's why he's put him in there for the guard assist, right? Oh, what, with the, his own guard white, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got to get his other goal. His other goal's got to do 4 million GFIs, huh? One, two, three, three, Looks five, like it wants to, yeah. Looks like it wants to. He should have stood this guy up before, I think. Uh, I think he doesn't want to leave a chain push. Mm. His arc can just bring that zombie across and then he punches it and then he chains through the wall. And he gets him out of that section. Mm. He might even dodge him, do the 5 plus dodge and go back next to the wrestler. No, oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. No. Well, he's just... given him the wolf dodge. Like, I mean, he's given him the... The chain to chain the wolf out, which I think I would do. Would Ooh, you him up. just surf, surf the white? I mean, you could after you chained him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I would though. The problem is when the ball becomes a little it's... bit unsafe. Yeah. Oh, why did he blitz from that angle? He could have chained the mummy off. Yeah, or or yeah, or chained the the wolf back. He could have done. Oh, he wants to hit the mummy yeah. again. Yeah. It's not easy though, is it? No. He could have just chained the mummy off, and then he he'd have like he could have freed the wolf and had the zombie, and then done the ghoul dodge. He's got yeah. a sideline cage, and he's got a sideline cage. Yeah, if he's sideline caging, that was definitely the wrong angle, yeah, for sure. For sure that was wrong, yeah. Given what he wants to do the rest of the turn, that was definitely in incorrect. I guess he's dodging the wall. I mean, yeah, he has to, doesn't he? Yeah, and he just wants to keep the mummy tagged on a zombie, which is like, okay, I guess. If you're sideline caging, I guess you don't want the the mummy like blitzing and pinning you on the side. Mm. But this mummy can just block the golem, and then he can do it with the other mummy. He As can blitz done. this. He can blitz the mummy, right? He can dodge out this ghoul to here, and then he dodges one, two, three, four, five, hits him, and then six, seven, eight. There, that, that's really good, isn't it? That's like the best outcome. Oh man, he would have won in nine the touch. Brilliant. Yeah, I think that's the play. I think you okay, no, he's not doing it. Oh, where's he going? He's just not blitzing. No, no, he'd already blitzed. Oh my god, I he'd already blitzed. I'm an idiot. Oh, he's going there. Right, disregard. The second blitz idea that I had was really good. <laughs> yeah, I like blitzing like at least three times or so. Yeah, oh, it's, he's makes all the, he just makes all the dodges, and now it looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, frustrating for us. Yep. Well, I'm all over, but hello, Volk. A shitty one, the a blockless blitz. <laughs> Oh, 
It's looking real bad for Art because he's going to have to go for the win. You know, he, even assuming he's beaten Kerfog at 1 2, then he just has he's to. He's going go in for this, isn't he? He's going to. Fix me? Five me? Nice oh no, he's already split. Oh my god. Of course it has. It's a card. Your turn. Your turn to be me, Dimmy. <laughs> it's a card. It's been a long day, alright. <laughs> I, I forgive myself as well, so it's alright. <laughs> yeah, today is the day to forgive and forget everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've already shown our ability to forget. <laughs> <laughs> Just the uh, Alzheimer's kicking in now. And <laughs> That's the danger when you're 29. Yeah. I mean, the top ends really hard against Necro. Like, it's hard anyway, but it's really hard against Necro. Because you've yeah. got to blip through foul appearance or stand firm. Or mm. do a load of dodges. Yeah, maybe it will score early then. Uh, and he's what? He's got... I mean, he's got four goals. What happened to his... Did he only... Oh, that's a zombie and a ghoul on the bench. Yeah, he fielded three, yeah. Yeah. And he's he fielded three. I like, I just field them all, but then I have skills on all of mine. Mm, yeah. Fielding the defenseless ones isn't isn't so exciting, is it? Fielding zombies isn't very exciting, Jim. That's true, Jim. Very true. I, I do Volk, yeah, that's that's exactly what I... I like to keep <laughs> them free to, to do <laughs> the important jobs. <laughs> oh, that's a huge bloody wrestle, that one. Oh no, it wasn't even a wrestle. No, it's a block was oh, block, so it'll re roll it. This is... It's wild, isn't it? This is controversial. I think I'd have just banged it in, honestly. I think he wishes he did now. <laughs> Instant regret. Yeah. Oh, he's got like a couple of hits with the wolf, and then he has to dodge the goal. So it's a one in nine, and then he really needs to power this, though. Oh, oh. he's got to reroll this as well, last reroll. No, he has to. I think to he has to. Dodge. No. Well, yeah, because the guard's in the wrong square. Why is the guard not directly behind the goal? Oh! So they can know. just cover more of the space with him, right? But I mean, like, it's not. I good. mean, Artemis is goal, not his goal. I mean, Artemis. Oh, right. Oh, and then he's filled the dodge. Oh, this is. Now he's not scoring at all. It doesn't look like it, does it? Unless Art has some bad dice. Some awful dice. I would fancy Artie to uh, wrestle the ball. -y. You can put him there so you can 2D this. And you can 2D him and then you can get 2D on the ball with wrestle. Yeah. I think that or you could just blitz the wolf, right? And then that would get him to block on the ball, which is better than wrestle because it's got block. I don't know how feasible that is. I mean, could just block, right? If you could fill this in, you could block him and then push him on. But that's that's quite good, isn't it? Problem is he hasn't got anyone to, that can reach there. Uh, he's just got a 3D with the mummy. Hope the pal. Oof, gets the pal. He's just going to dodge to hit the ball then? I think he's just going to dodge to hit Oh, a 1D? Uh, yeah. A dodge? Mm. Square this can go. Oh, 
That was an it, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, he's got. He can move around, all right. He's, he's cool. He oh, can just move all the way around. Because he wanted to follow. I would have just hit him straight and then not hit him. Yeah, but he, if he can get there, he can get there. So it doesn't really matter, does it? I guess is what he's thinking. Maybe over. Thinking. This is going to be a one in nine dodge. He's going to fail the one in nine dodge, isn't he? He'll, he'll block first, right? The, the block is just better because. Well, the one D. Yeah, yeah. The block's better. But then he still has to dodge if he does, like, because it's like a 1 in 6, right? And the dodge is just a 1 in 9. Yeah, 1 in 3 to power him. But it was like a free roll, wasn't it? Oh, he's done it that way, he's going with the blocker. Yeah, it's better to blitter the blocker, isn't it? But So I don't like it because you're not freeing him now, so that was weird. Like, do the 1D with the blocker so that you might free him. That was really power. weird, gets the full power. Look a dog. Oh, the scatter out could just go straight to the well, man. Mm. If he's really unlucky, he'll go straight to the wraith. Doesn't go out. I went for the pickup as well. Wow. Mm. Scoring threat. Zombie yeah. dodge, double GFI. No, he's got no scoring threat. Uh... Oh. oh my god. What... First reroll of the half, to be fair, for Aunt Miss. Uh, the surface? No, he can't feel the screen. No, he's got nobody, nobody near, has he? He's got all these players all down here. Three on two over there. <laughs> the, the, those like two zombies that tagged off the fleshy and the wraith have done a sterling job for art. Like about turn three, they were tagged off, weren't they? And they've been fucked with the whole half on those guys. Where did the ghoul go? Did the ghoul die? Um, that's a good question. It Got KO'd. Been. Okay. Yeah, I think we can stop the score here. Yeah, I would say so. You've all oh, you've really? got is the wraith into here, and. Maybe the fleshy in as well. Yeah, yeah, look, you can pow, pow this guy, pow this guy. Fleshy GFI's in. Wraith comes in. He blitzes him on 2D, pows him, and then the wolf picks it up, skulls. But he's already blocked with a... Well, no, he can just block with the fleshy. Oh, my God, he won in 81 with a fleshy. Well, that was definitely not the way it did. I guess this way you just needed a push, right, to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but then a double GFI. Hmm... Oh. Maybe maybe that was actually better. Though. Yeah, maybe it was because you just needed the push. You can guarantee the yeah, uh, you can guarantee the And then clear, he could punch him. You can't guarantee the clear the other way. Yeah, you need two powers to clear, so yeah, this was definitely the, the easiest way to clear. So three dice. Reroll. Reroll. Yeah. Full power. <laughs> Stumbles. Can get on oh, the can't. Bro, pass. No. Block the fleshy. Reroll. Reroll, Re you pussy. No. <laughs> Only can power this zombie. You can power both these zombies, actually. Yeah. If he puts the guard in, he can have another go at the golem with the zombie, right? If he puts yeah. the guard in. <laughs> I'd probably. Like, Problem is he can't bow afterwards. So. Reroll. Reroll. <laughs> so what's bright? Is bright one a game? Bright is one one one. One one one, and that is zero two zero, right? Oh, zero zero, zero two. Oh, so they're playing this out of order, so Capo and Art oh, haven't played them. Yes, yeah. They'll, they're playing uh, tomorrow or something. Yeah, because Euroball messed everything up a bit, didn't it? Oh, gets focus KOs. Tuesday, Tuesday is Capo versus Art. And they're cool out. The Kaz guy stays out. 
<laughs> Didn't regen again. Wow. <laughs> Never lucky. Never lucky. Yes. I failed a lot of KO rolls. Mm. Maybe I should have uh, just kicked. Honestly, I think may now looking back, I think I should have kicked versus Devo and then you know, uh, like he's got to do a normal offense, and if I stop it, like it means I get to play properly, right? It means he's got to play properly. He's got to try to score a stall till turn eight. I've got I oh, get to I play think, properly, yeah. and then maybe maybe stop him. And if I stop him, then uh, then I can win one 0 right? I can just try the second half and just win normally. Whereas I was trying to I was just trying to dice him by hoping to receive and bang him out, which what was. If, um, what if he like has his two orcs on the LOS? Well, there you go. Or that's the problem, isn't it? But I mean, I'm not winning that game, whatever happens, if that happens. Am I? Mm. Gotta play it your routes. It's tough, like having to win a bash, bash matchup is Honestly, tough. I'm just, yeah. Just, I guess the only difference with that is the fact, like you say, that Andy has to do a full 8 10 drive if you don't um, score. Yeah. Yeah, if you kick, you, he has to st he has to stall till turn eight. Whereas because I'd failed my offense, he could just bang it in. So like, it, the, this is in different in that Bright needs to win as well. So, well, it is kind of different because if you score, then Andy has to play normally. It's, it's the fact that you failed to score. Yeah. Because if he just bangs it in, then you just win two one, which is terrible. Right? So yes, uh, I, I still think offense is correct. But he had the freedom because he knew he had more information right when it came to his drive. And his drive is hard. His drive is hard if he's got to stall it till turn eight. And then, plus if he scored it till turn eight, I could try to score early and turn him over, right? Whereas I, I didn't give myself that chance. And I know I didn't score at all, but I don't know, it's hard. It is hard, like, I, I felt like just receiving and banging him out was the best way. Not that that had any chance of working, of course. Jim Dice. Standard, most dice man in Blood Bowl. This is interesting from Bright, isn't it? The, uh, the kind of offset, a gaping hole there. <laughs> He's offset a gaping hole. Trap space. Yeah, I mean, obviously Art's not going to go for it, but yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Art is going to carry on his bludger. No, he's freeing the mummy up. Uh, he's freeing the zombie up so he could pick it up on that. Right. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Why? Why wouldn't you carry a zombie? Oh, does he re-roll? He does. It could have been unlucky. <coughs> could have uh, wobbled forward. <sighs> Looking hell. Just casually choked a little bit. Blitz in the claw. No, Quite a nice little style for that, yeah. Yeah. I'll have to write this one down. Bright is staring defeat in the face here, and he? if he goes one one two, he's basically out. If Art goes to one zero two, he can beat Kfog and then go to two zero two, and he'll, he'll have half a chance.
but I know it's a horrible position to be in. That was a quick turn, wasn't it? Very quick. Aren't happy to uh, burn turns while not getting clawed. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Thank you very much, Carlson Bear. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh, only a push. We've got some heavy contact from the Necros. Yeah, he needs to put pressure on. Because he's just going to... Yeah, he's got to get the turnover. Like Bright has to win this game. If if Bright draws, it's almost certainly not good enough. If he draws, I would say maybe he doesn't need to win. He could he could go two two one, which might be enough, but I doubt it. Wow, it doesn't foul appearance, but nor does he get the foul. Does power fleshy look a dog? Bit of a pickle here for Art, isn't it? He's out guarded. He's got the two strong boys, obviously, but if they can get hit by walls, he could be in a lot of bother. I think this is like a bad matchup for the undead, honestly. Mm. It does. It did feel bad for my uh, orcs. I can't lie. Yeah, I just like if the mummies don't fire, they just get the guard in and stuff, and like you can't hit the race reliably. With the foul mm. appearance and the stand firm. And the claw. Yep. Hello, dog to the dog. Thanks very much. Yep, it is. It is indeed Dimmy's. Dimmy's birthday as well. Eh? The best birthday in the world. Hey. Thank you. Twenty nine again. It's so good being twenty nine, isn't it? It's pretty good, Jim. <laughs> well, I've been twenty nine nine times now. Yeah, I've been 29 about 15 times. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> thinking? Anything special here? Maybe he can hit that mummy. Just slap the uh, flesh golem into that square. Mm. Put the assist in two into one. It no. He's going to base. He's going to blitz with a golem. Yeah, he must be blitzing the mummy. Sticking a fleshy on the ball. Oh yeah, this is nice as well. Yeah. The time on a tradition should have stood his his fleshy up already though. Of course, could have won in eighty one. I don't think the fleshy will be dodging. Oh, gets a 1D pal. I'll be fuming. He had four dice on that and did nothing. <laughs> and he gets one dice back. Instant full pal. Did he need that assist? Oh, yeah. No, he didn't. He was already 3, 4, 5, 6. He didn't need that assist at all. Hmm. That wolf could have maybe come round over here and put a bit more pressure on or something. Or gone in there. 
He's not terrible there, is he? But I feel like I feel like he put him there because he thought he needed to be there. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just thought it was the right place. I think that might go this side now. Maybe not. Tough in it. Everything's all tied up pretty horribly. Yeah, like because he didn't get the. Oh, he needs to get the gold three of them. Is he going to blitz the rest? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he's going to do. No. He's going to have to concede some ground, I think. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? This is tricky. Bet he wishes he had his tackler. Yeah. If he had his sure. tackler, he'd be blitzing this guy. <laughs> He's going up the side. A little bit of a side push. Powers are something other people roll. <laughs> Never lucky. Do you go back a little bit? I don't know. Danger here is the wolf, isn't it? The wolf can just go and get him. You have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like double GFI. And the wolf, but I mean, the wolf is, can hit easily. Because he can't get anything round the back to take advantage of it, really. But what he can do is maybe put Martin into bigger trouble next turn. Just like blitz the lead goo. Yeah, he's gonna need to reset her, I think. Yeah, but, like but everything got knocked over on that left side. Yeah. Yeah, Art's gonna to want to go back over to this side. But he can he can get the wraith in on the ball, can't he, which is nice. He blitzes the gowl. Okay, there we go. That solves the front. Hello, machine. Hello, fan fox. <laughs> I am, I am older than 10, yes. Uh, but only 29. Only 29. That's still a fine age. Completely fine age, 29. I wish I was still 29. <laughs> that 29 beaver pregnancies. Yeah. Well, at least that, that, to be fair, that dodge for Art has, uh, was it a dodge? I think it was. That move has at least saved, saved the sidestep ball base. Could, uh, could get counter surf the wolf, couldn't he? Potentially. Not super easily, to be fair, but it is a possibility. That guy's pretty good. Stopping him. Coming in here to hit. That doesn't help him. 
Oh, Dublay Skulls. Has to wee wall. Oh, the goal was a dodge, wasn't it? I think. Oh, that was ages ago. Okay. Sorry. I don't know in Vitus that was ages ago. I've got no idea. <laughs> Sorry for not replying. Oh my god, he used the dodge on the reroll. So he used two rerolls that turn, didn't he? The dub skulls and the dodge. So now Bright has one reroll. And uh, Art, I mean, if you can pow here, that frees up two players. And he's also got a player free here. I think he can just abandon this fella and punch through the middle. Maybe. Starting with a ball carrier blitz, I like that. Should roll the power though. <laughs> but didn't need it, did he? He might not even push now that he didn't get the power. I kind of would have liked to have seen if I got the power of the mummy first, but. Maybe he's committed to that move, and maybe not. Maybe he isn't committed. Oh, he is committed. A blockless block, Jimmy. Hmm. Because you kind of want to get the fleshy down, right? So, like, you kind of need the fleshy down. So, I would have quite liked to have seen if I got him down before I committed to moving the ball forward. Even if it was a blockless block. He did get him down. Look at dog. Aren't the luckiest man in Blood Bowl? So he could, um. Oh, wow. Uh, I feel that dodge. I think I see dice on the ball, Jim. Yeah, I think, I think what I would have done <laughs> is uh, move him down and blocked him. So then this school could dodge away. But, um. You know, I would, I would have done that dodge first, and also, uh, and also kill myself. So, yep. Do you see dice on the ball? I'm not sure, like. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's annoying because you really want to surf this guy, but also you really just want to blitz with a wolf right for... For more dice, he surely is going. Surely is going to try and blitz with the ball. I think he's surfing. Man. You need to power the ball. You do, but then you need to. You need to also power this school, don't you? And also, if you push him twice, you can push him to there and get him the hit for the fleshy. He does just go for the surf. So only two dice in the ball. Obviously has to accept the push now. Uh, basically, like he can't reuse his last reroll for this. It's not over, Steve. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Oh, this guy's coming back. I quite like uh, getting this guy in here so that you could 2D him and get the right round. Only gets pushes. Surely can't re-roll this. Does not re-roll this. Does this zombie tag this zombie? I mean, he's not going to surf this guy, but he put sticking him on him is bad enough because it keeps him out. You can be my wingman any time. Bullshit. You can be mine. Thank you very much for the raid, Yuddy. Welcome, Yuddy viewers. Oh, he just makes the dodge outrageous. 
So that's a pretty good end state for Bright, isn't it? Artemis is in a lot of trouble here. It's basically a must-win match for both competitors. Art can free the ghoul now with a block, which is very nice. I've got to try and power the fleshy as well, see what he can do. Maybe, honestly, maybe just 4 plus 3 plus the ball and surf the wolf. <laughs> no, that seems terrible. It seems really tough, doesn't it? He's got to try and get his team back together, but he's lost he's lost a lot of speed with Luz and obviously already lost the white before the drive, but now he's lost a cool and a white. Glorious. He's lost a fair bit of speed. No, I won't give in it's until tricky. I'm victorious. And I will defend. It's very I tricky. will defend. Oh, Super G, thank you very much. Absolutely glorious. Staying fantastic. For one and a half beaver pregnancies. Only a push. It is indeed Bobby Roode, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to have the actual Bobby Roode theme, but then um, I kept getting... What's it called? Like copyright marks for it. So, uh, so I had to. <laughs> it, it wasn't worth demonetizing all of my vids. So, uh, yeah, tragedy. All right, so I gives him the three plus dodge out. Oh, man. <laughs> this is just full potato, isn't it? This is like insane potato. Unless he took speed and no, he's not tucking in. It's the power there. And he probably should have served the wolf looking at this now, because the wolf is definitely going to punch the shit out of him. That's a nice dodge. Mmm. Not a dodge, Dimmy, but yep. Yeah. Well. <laughs> nice block. What are we doing here? Four, three out? Yeah, we've got to. And then get around and tag the uh, garden zombie. Maybe just like stand there. Nah, I think he needs to actually base, but not on the ghoul, base on the zombie and thing. Oh, he tried to 1D him. And scold. I don't think that was enough. You know, through the other wolf as well. Mmm. And come through there. Yeah, this is much better to free the other wolf, because then he's got this wolf to pick it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Jim. So now you can block it. I mean, it's a blockless block, though. But blockless block there, block full block there, and then this wolf can come in for the hit. Well, I think you want to pick up the ball. Oh, he blocked with a wraith. Oh, nah, he's blocked with a zombie. He's, yeah, he's got a blitz with a wolf. Oh, guess... if he does it this way, then he's got the hit with the zombie afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, that's clever. Gets the full power. Now the ball is in the zombie tackle zone. Oh, I guess he can just punch the zombie. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then the wolf goes one, two, three, four, five onto the ball. Six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. And he's away. Yep, yeah, this is uh, looking pretty bad for Arty. So clear the ball, take the flesh gun and punch. Then that zombie that's next to the ball on the floor. Probably has to double GFI and tag the other zombie behind the mummy. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh... And then you just potato with the wolf, get into range, score on your turn for three. Then. That other zombie can come back and assist when he punches the wrestle one. I would, I would just put him here, right, to keep this ghoul under control. Okay. okay. I mean, he's on the floor anyway, and I'm, I'm planning on scoring the turn after. I just like punching the other wrestler because he's on his feet. 
Yeah, fair, fair. Fair. But he's only two squares away, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, yeah. Only one GFI this way, okay. So he did the rush first. I don't want to pick the ball up first. But he rolled the two, so he was obviously right. Mm. Yeah, maybe he's got to tag the block goal. Oh no, he needed to go one more square as well. Yeah, one one square, one more square would have been better. Oh no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Still, he makes it a four plus. That's fine. No, no, that's fine. No, yeah, two squares more would have been better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Oh, he's done the dodge. He's done the dodge with a wraith. Thirty Dino. Flip me. What's oh, Art got then? A Zom mummy dodge. <laughs> He's probably opening the menu and conceding. Yeah. Dodge double GFI. <laughs> Not even that bad odds, honestly. Get the wrestler into scoring range first. Zombie wanna. Oof. And this will drop art to zero zero three and puts bright on two one one. It was really mad how Bright's defensive drive looked like it fell apart in the turn that he used two rerolls and failed the wolf dodge. And then, just as quickly as that, Art's offensive drive fell apart. He exactly the turn after that. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <clears throat> I, I was surprised he came back to the middle. I thought he was going to blitz the uh, guy... I, I thought he was going to blitz the wolf that was on the sideline next to the guard and just run up the sideline. Hmm. he would have freed the guard and then he would have had a channel to get through. So he came back to the middle, which probably would have been stronger had he rolled better, but he didn't get the... It was the one in nine dodge, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Rolling better is is a good idea, honestly. <laughs> Big mistake by Art to not roll better. Um, but it was tough, it was just tough, it's just tough against, you know, he lost players. And he's up against a good player with Necro, mm. and it's it's just hard, man. Like it's it's a hard matchup for other Bash teams, I think. Like just other Bash teams, I think it's a hard matchup for Undead. I think it's a very hard matchup for all because I just think they're just ultimate Bash team, aren't they? Because they've got two, they've got two fast players, and they've got as much guard as anybody basically with four guard. Like obviously not Orcs, but most most teams they've got as much guard as them, and then they've got their claw to beat the. The heavy teams and they've, they've got more speed than the other teams as well they're, they're a really good team i think Necro. well they are in the europe rules yes like outside of that they don't normally get as much right? true yes yeah the the the, like, the package rule set. yeah 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 the package <laughs> for euro Bowl especially was really kind to them um so here's the here's the table there we go updated We've got Artemis looking appalling at the bottom, but he's still got to play his game against Kfog. But now, of course, this is no longer interesting for Art because he's eliminated um, Kfog. If Kfog w wins his last three, he can still maybe qualify. Um, but very tight. Four, four people on five points. That's wild, well, isn't it? That is wild. I mean, there's a weird number of games played, though, right? So Kfog needs to play Artemis and Olivier, right? Yes. So if Capo wins both of those and he's on four, then we're talking crazy <laughs> last week, mate. Yeah. Because yeah. then it'll be three, four teams on five and one on four. Yeah, it's going to be really crazy if Capo wins. And Capo's actually playing Olivier tomorrow night, and then uh, Artemis on Tuesday. So it's it's still going to it's still going to be completely out of sequence. Uh, 
with yeah, Art but, and Tearful. I mean, one, once those two games are played, then it'll be then it'll all be right for, set up for the final week. Yep. But yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, K K Fog's easily capable of beating Olivier, isn't he? That's going to be a uh, that's you know, it, it's funny that K Fog's at the bottom. And Art, K Fog and Artemis at the bottom because it, you know, it 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 looks you would expect the worst people to be at the bottom, wouldn't you? But that's not necessarily the case. Um, so I would definitely still back as much as Olivia, you know, is a rat main and K Fog isn't. It, it's completely possible for him to beat Olivia, isn't it? And then uh, of course it's possible for him to beat Art as well. And then yeah, he could be four, but uh, he could also just equally he could just lose both of them and Olivia will be in pole position. And Art and Kefog will both be out, so who knows? Tune in next time to find out what happens. So there you go. As far as that game goes, congratulations, bright commiserations, Artemis. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Being glorious having you in the booth. Thank you, Jim. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, thanks, Dim. Happy birthday to you too. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.